Hey, I'm your host, Tariq Kundabolu. In this video, we're gonna be talking about self-care and relaxation skills. Listen, sometimes anxiety can sneak up in really intense ways, like when you're presenting in front of class or when you're waiting for a person you like to text you back. The problem is our alarm system can go off even if there isn't really any danger present. So I have, well, one anxiety, which goes through the roof on, I wanna say on a daily basis, to be honest. Middle school is just really hard in general because girls can be really mean. Yeah, sometimes like middle school can be brutal. When there's all eyes on me, it's kind of scary because it's like everybody's staring at me and it's like if I mess up my words and stutter, it's just kind of scary. Your brain is moving at the speed of like, like a war jet. I get really stressed over homework and tests. Let's see, I'm too scared. I will just, my, I'll just let my mind go freely and I'll just hold, get my, like I said, in like a ball and hide. It can be intense. And that's because our bodies are hardwired to respond to dangerous situations with three responses. Freeze, fight, or my personal favorite, flight. I love to run away. It's the way our bodies have evolved to keep us safe and alive, and it's no joke. Sometimes I just walk away, or I run away, or uh, I punch my pillow instead. It feels like... A lot of energy is being like put in a ball in my stomach, but it has nowhere to go. So it's just like bouncing around my stomach. It's literally if my body was kind of being paralyzed, even though it isn't, it feels that way because I cannot control anything. I'd say like you're trying to sit on an icy chair. For decades, psychologists have been studying what we can do when our body starts to hit us with really intense feelings. And the answer? Take a deep breath in and out. Okay, okay. Breathing is underrated, honestly. Everyone's like, breathing is like so simple. And like, if you really get your mind into it, it works. I just feel so much better when I can actually feel like I'm free from all that pain and all that worrying. And it's like, it's gone away. I know what you're thinking. I breathe all the time. I know how to breathe. I'm breathing right now. But breathing, much like running with a backpack, is more complicated than you might think. It turns out some breathing is more helpful than others. I keep breathing like deeply in and out, like slowly too. I hold my breath and count to 10, and then that'll just help me clear my mind. It usually helps just to breathe like five or six times, and then I feel comfortable after that. It can be helpful to practice these relaxation strategies even when you're feeling calm. Put one hand on your stomach, and one hand on your chest. Slowly breathe in and expand your belly like a balloon, and then slowly breathe out and feel the balloon deflate. You'll feel your body begin to relax as you continue to take slow, paced breaths. Make sure to breathe into your belly, not your chest, and go slow. Try to breathe in your nose for four seconds and out your mouth for six. And if you have a calm place you like to imagine, just go there in your mind. I do it when I'm at the store, outside with my dogs. The forest. You could usually do it anywhere. You just stare at the ceiling for a second and just kind of zone out. Don't think about anything. Don't think about what's around me and just zone out for a second. I take a moment. I step, you know, step back a little, take a few deep breaths, trying to catch my breath. And I just think, you know, about like my brother laughing or I think about, you know, nature and it brings me, you know, I'm already smiling. It's like, it's just um, such a happy place. And that's it. So if you're ever feeling completely overwhelmed by your anxiety or any strong emotion, just breathe.